On November 23, 2011, Salisbury, Maryland was named the fourth most dangerous city to live in per capita in the United States. Regardless of this statistic, many Salisbury University students still feel safe living in the community. One time we had an incident and we thought someone was breaking in and the cops came in under like two minutes and they were there. Our violent crime, I can say over the last couple of years, our violent crime has come down in double digits, uh, which has been really, really impressive for us and we're, and we're thankful for that. We have a long way to go still, but we are coming down in double digits. We're still having some prob problems, part one crimes with property related crimes. Although many students feel safe living in the community, some feel the police prioritize breaking up college house parties over looking for the hard crime, much like the view of junior Brandon Wilson of Salisbury University. They prioritize busting parties instead of going after real crime, it seems like. I'm sure that's not actually the case, but like it's college kids. You live in a college town, and I understand that you want to clean up like the city and stuff like that, but it's college kids having fun, and we're not doing anything bad. Sure, get the kids that are driving and getting DUIs, but like people that are having house parties, they're not causing any damage. They're not like breaking down the neighborhood. The leasees are not cooperating with the police department. They're either hurting everybody in the house, locking the door, refusing to cooperate, or they're being disorderly, or they're giving false information, name and date of birth and this information, and it's leading those students that would normally get a signable citation are now leading to these students being charged and physically arrested and taken out to the jail. As of late, the current ranking for Salisbury, Maryland has risen to the 22nd most dangerous city per capita in the United States.